Hey guys, so this is going to be a collab with the lovely Leanne, who is here on YouTube. Her YouTube name is Leanne Roux, R-O-U-X. Um, I'll put the link to her channel below. Uh, we decided to do a holiday look together, um, so this is going to be a collab. So make sure that you check out her video, um, and make sure you subscribe to her channel. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pin my hair back at the sides. Please excuse my paleness. Um, I do self-tan, but I don't self-tan my face, so it's going to be a lot lighter than the rest of me, and especially with dark hair now, it looks super pale. So, uh, the first thing, I've already put on a BB cream, um, and I'm just going, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of the Benefits Pore Fashional just to fill in my pores and help my makeup just kind of nicely glide on. I'm going to be using a Sigma flat kabuki brush. I just put some right on the brush and then just kind of put that on my face. Okay, so now that I have that on my face, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in Golden Tan. Just put a couple pumps of that. And obviously this is way darker than my natural skin, but again, it matches my body and I don't put, I never tan my face, so my face is always going to be super pale. So I'm just going to buff this in. So already that's starting to look so much better. I swear everybody looks better with a little bit of a tan. So once I have that all buffed in, I'm going to use my concealer, and I'm going in with the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I'm actually going to take it on my finger and just kind of put that everywhere. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Contour Brush, and I prefer this brush for my concealer, to be perfectly honest. I swear my camera's a little off. Oh, I don't want to lose my dress. A little off kilter but yeah I prefer this to buff and concealer I just feel like it does such a good job and it's very gentle on the eyes and it's a little small for a concealer brush in my opinion I mean some people like that really precise contour but I like to use a different brush for contouring so I really enjoy this for concealer and I always put it on my lids too just to add kind of like a um, like a primer. And this is just really going to highlight our under eyes and the center of our face and just make it look nice and make us look nice and awake and yeah, really pretty. And what I always do in a good tip after you do that is go back in with your foundation brush and just kind of buff around the edges that way you don't have like you don't look like you're wearing a mask or like you're friggin' Batman or something. Because then nobody wants to look like Batman. Or like we're wearing a mask, so. Just kind of buff that around. I'm probably going to have to fill in my eyebrows again after, but whatever, we won't worry about that now. Um, so to set everything, I'm going to use my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And this one is in the corrective yellow, which I don't want. I actually want to just use the clear one, the translucent, and it's really good for setting your under eye area. So I just put that underneath to set, and just like in the center of my face. Now before I do anything else with my face, I'm going to go right ahead and move on to the eyes. So I've already primed my lids using um, Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So I'm just going to take Foxy from the Naked 2 palette and that's just going to act as my highlight for under my eyes. I could really pluck my eyebrows right now. So I'm just going to highlight under there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this beautiful MAC pigment that I got in a holiday sit, sit, set last year. It's just a beautiful um, ready chocolatey brown and it's called 
Ever Elegant. Take that on a little brush and just kind of dab it in. And then what I do is I kind of swirl it around the lid, tap it off, and I'm just gonna start applying this in my crease. And don't worry if it's messy because it will be fixed. And I like this to be high enough so that you can see it when my eyes open, so I'm bringing it all the way up here. Again, I know it looks a little crazy now, but we are going to fix it. It's just Think of it as just like an outline. That's all you're really doing. So same thing on this eye. Honest to God, you guys, these colors make blue and green eyes stand out so much it's crazy i wore this yesterday to work and everyone was like oh my god your makeup is beautiful and look at your eyes so um it's really quite nice you don't have to use these exact colors but any kind of chocolatey ready brown um is perfect so now that that is done um i'm just going to take a little bit of max brown script which is a beautiful ready kind of rusty brown and i'm just going to take that on a sigma um, little shader brush and i'm just shading kind of the edges just to soften it a little bit and just keep blending until you're happy with it until the lines are nice and blended and it looks like it's transitioned so now that that's blended I'm just gonna go back into foxy and with a blending brush I just like to kind of go over that and that kind of helps to blend the um, darker color as well, just like further blend it. And so now that we have that, I'm going to go into, again, the Naked 2 palette. I don't know why I just put that away. And I'm going to be taking the color Half Baked, tap off my brush, and literally just pack that right on the lid. The reason you want to do the shading first is because you tend to get a lot of fallout with the shading and this way um, instead of having to add the lid color and keep adding to it, um, you can just put it right on and it's pigmented and it's kind of exactly where you want it. Itchy nose. Same thing on the other eye, just pack that color on. Again, you don't have to use these colors, just any kind of light goldy bronzy color will look beautiful you know then what I do is I like to pick up a little bit of that MAC pigment and run that on the outer outer third of my eye my lower lash line just like that and then typically, um, just so I get a really kind of cut line, I go right back with that dark color, the MAC pigment, and just go right over kind of more of the crease area. Just so that it's nicely defined and yeah. So now that we have that all finished, um, this is kind of the fun part. I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to do obviously a liquid line. And we are going to wing it out. Okay, so while that is drying, I am just going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. Get a little bit of that on my brush and run.
run that in the waterline. And my eyes are going to water yet again. So after we have that done, I'm just going to go into a matte black shade. This is just um, Blackout from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm just going to put that right over the wing that we just did. This is just going to ensure that it stays on all evening and you get a really nice black line. I'm going to run a little bit of that underneath as well. Just a smidge. Okay, and now for the super, super fun part. Um, I am going to go in with a glitter liner. This is the, I've used this one many, many times. It is the best glitter eyeliner I've ever cheat I've ever used. I've ever used. <laughs> wow. Um, and it's just a beautiful gold color. And we're going to place that right over top of our wing. Just for a little sparkle. Then we're just going to add some mascara. And after I do this part, I am going to put on some false eyelashes. And I'm going to do that off camera just because it takes such a long time by the time it dries and everything. So, and I know you guys have all seen how to put on false lashes. So, at least I think you have. So now that I have mascara on, I'm just going to go put on my falsies and I'll be right back. Okay, so while my eyelashes are drying, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. And I'm going to start by contouring with the Bahama Mama bronzer and just this Sonia Kashuk contouring brush. Just because it's a little smaller. And I can get right in my cheekbones there. I'm going to bring this up into the temples and the hairline. I still have an itchy nose. Nice. My little baby hairs. I tend to get quite a bit of fallout with this brush, which is kind of annoying. Just do the sides of my nose. Just to really. <laughs> It's all the hairs coming out of this brush. Look at it. Oh my god. Then I'm going to go in with a powder brush and my MAC Soft, soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Dark and just kind of pat that everywhere. And I always bring it down my neck as well. Just to really warm up my face. And then for pull up my top. Don't want to be flashing you guys my babies. I'm going to use Max Soft and Gentle just at the top of my cheeks for a nice glow. And my Cupid's bow. Then for blush, I'm just going to use um, Peaches by MAC, which is just a beautiful peachy color. I just kind of put that on the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. I always find the best face to do to get your apples of your cheeks to really stick out is this face. And it looks really stupid. Imagine people actually smiled that way. Like it looks creepy. It's really creepy. Okay, so.
So for lips, there are two options. You can go with a pinky lip, you can go with a red. Um, but I feel like because of what I have going on in my eyes, I kind of want to use my current favorite lip product, which I talked about in my favorites video. And this is the MAC Sheen Supreme Lip Glass Tint in Kiss Kiss. And oh, it's such a beautiful color. It just like brings life back to your lips. And it actually stains your lips. So this color stays quite a while, which is perfect for a night out. So, ah, oh, I just love this color. Ah. It's super gorgeous. Then I'm just gonna add another coat of mascara just to really amp up these lashes. I'm sure a lot of people don't use mascara on their false eyelashes, but I do. I feel like it just helps blend your lashes and the falsies better. And it just makes them look like kapow in your face lashes. And I'm probably going to wear this look on Christmas Day. Excuse my ugly mascara face. Because it's just beautiful. And because I used a black eyelash glue, I don't have to go over my winged liner with liner, with winged liner again, because, or with eyeliner again, because it's black, so. Okay, so that is the finished look. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little so you can see. How zoomed in am I? Oh, I'm pretty zoomed in. Okay, so that is the finished eye makeup look. Just really pretty, and again, if you've got blue or green eyes, honey, it will make them stand out so much and just look gorgeous. I can take out my hair. Pull it forward, give it a little brushy brush, and yeah, you are good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thumbs up this video if you want to see more holiday kind of really pretty makeup looks and yeah thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be entered in my 5,000 subscriber giveaway I've learned to say subscriber not $5,000 giveaway because I don't have that kind of money so yeah um, subscribe and like this video and yeah leave your comments below um, I love hearing from you guys so thanks so much and I'll see you in my next video bye